So here I'm asked to simplify fully the following fraction. So we have 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 all over 2x squared minus 6x. So when we're working with simplifying fractions like this, the first place to start is always going to be factorising out the numerator and denominator and then seeing if we can cancel any of these brackets that we've created by factorising. So a way that I always go about doing this is by looking at the numerator and denominator and seeing which one looks easiest to factorise. Now looking here at the denominator, as you can see, we've got a common factor here of, so we've got x in both the 2x squared and the minus 6x, and also both will divide by 2. So we could take the 2x out and factorise it this way. And I think that would be a good place to start because it's going to be quite an easy way to factorise it. And then we can look back to the numerator and see if we could possibly use one of the factors that we've taken from the denominator to factorise the numerator more easily. So here, if I take 2x squared, I take out the 2x. In order to get 2x squared, I'll multiply that by x. And then in order to get 6, I'll multiply that by 3. So I'm doing the x minus 3, and this will multiply out, so 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared, 2x multiplied by minus 3 is minus 6, and that gives us the 2x squared minus 6. So now that I've got this part, looking back to the numerator, I need to work out if I could factorise this in a way that it's going to share one of the factors that the denominator has so that they can cancel out. And if I look at the x minus 3, this links with the minus 3 up here. And a way of thinking about this would be if I had the x minus 3, what would I need to multiply it by to get to 3x squared minus 8x minus 3? Well, to get the 3x squared, I need to multiply it by the 3x. So that would give me 3x squared when the first term in each bracket is multiplied by one another. And then to get the minus 3, I'm looking at the last terms in the brackets. So what does this minus 3 need to be multiplied to get minus 3? And that's going to be 1. So I can add 1. And then I can just check this works. So we'd have, if I expanded this out, we'd have 3x squared add x minus 9x minus 3. And that would give us 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 when simplified. So that is going to be correct here. So now moving on, I can see that I have an x minus 3, which I wanted to happen in both the numerator and the denominator. So I can simply cancel these out, divide the top and the bottom of the fraction by x minus 3. And that's going to leave me with a simplified fraction of 3x plus 1 over 2x. Now, although there is an x term in the numerator, this term is just a plus 1, so there isn't an x term there. And we can see that there's no way of simplifying this fraction anymore. So this 3x plus 1 over 2x is the simplified version of this fraction, and we've answered the question correctly. So as for how the three marks are awarded here, the first mark and the second mark are both for basically factorising out these these equations at the top. So we get the first mark for either breaking them, breaking the numerator or the denominator down into its correct factors. And the second mark is going to be for getting both the numerator and denominator factorised correctly. And then the third and final mark is just for writing the answer down in a simplified form, which we have here.